Hey Tribe, we stopped by the gas station and grabbed a handful of protein bars. So we're gonna be taste testing for them for you guys today. We're gonna give you our thoughts um, and kind of let you know which ones we think are good and worth buying and which ones we think kind of suck. So we're gonna start off by just showing you the bars first so you know which ones we are gonna be trying. The first one we have is an IQ bar, chocolate sea salt flavored. The second one that we have is a Go Macro bar. It's sea salt, caramel, and chocolate chips. The third one we have is a Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookie Bar. And the last one we have is a Monk Pack Nut and Seed Bar. All right, so we are gonna start off with the IQ bar, this one. All right, uh, yeah, definitely haven't tried any of these. All right. I've only tried to go macro I wasn't before. sure, like, I wasn't sure the consistency, so I brought over some knives yeah. so we don't have to rip it off so you can cut your piece. All right. You want just... we'll to these first? Okay. Therefore, if you get I feel, I feel like this thing is gonna break, though, if I try to cut this, okay. So it actually doesn't look that bad. It's dense, but not as dense yeah. as a uh, like an RX bar. I can see the salt in you it. You squeeze and it kind of breaks up, which I kind of like. Ooh, I, I don't like them when they're like a fig stick. Smell is, that smells like protein. This doesn't have any flavor. No, I was just gonna there's say that there's like no flavor. There's a level. There's like, like no flavor in this one. Let me see what type of <laughs> protein they actually use. Wow. <laughs> they just they use have no flavor. There's no chocolate. I hate when yeah. it looks like it has chocolate. The in second it. ingredient is tapioca fiber. The first one is almonds, so they don't start off with something like flavorful. Um and they use pea protein. Oh, that's just the like problem. like I feel like you can definitely taste the pea protein. Oh, it's miserable. Um there's only like how many, there's only 12 grams of protein in this, so it's not like too hot. It's not like what I would consider like a protein protein bar. Um, yeah, it doesn't really taste like anything, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not my plant -based favorite. Plant-based protein. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not like a full protein bar, like kind of a snack, pro yeah, a snack bar, but at the same time, um, I mean, at least it's got some lion's mane in it. At yeah, the it has end. some of that stuff. Yeah, there's like all, uh, the, all the things at the top that are supposed to make you feel alert and good. Yeah, it's uh, but, natural flavors and pea protein are like the third and fourth thing. So yeah, um, that's going to go in uh, filed in the trash. Yeah, yeah. IQ that's bars. One. IQ bar. Maybe they have other good flavors. Uh, I don't know, but that's, that's, probably, that's, probably wouldn't really recommend that one. That's not really my favorite. So. There's no chocolate flavor whatsoever. Yeah. Just. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go to the Go Macro bar. Go Macro is, is always pretty good. I like I like macro bars. So this one is Salted caramel and chocolate chips. Like, what are we looking at? Calories. This one is 270 calories. It's a little bit more calorie dense. I believe that one was like 180. Yeah. Um, not like a true, true protein bar. This one has 10 grams of protein, so it's not again super high in protein. But this is something that, like, I would say is probably a good pre-workout snack if you're like on the go macro-wise, just because it gives you a good amount of carbs beforehand. You know, I kind of screwed this whole thing up. We did say protein bars, right? And I grabbed no protein bars. So we're going to do another <laughs> one with protein bars. This is more of a... It's more, more like an energy bar. Yeah, like it's more like, more a, like an like energy a bar. bar energy bar is what yeah. we're looking at. That's, yeah. Uh, that's my fault. It's on me. But we'll show you another one with that. That's um, okay. See, this is the thing. I, I, I usually do like Go Macro bars. But these remind me, they're better than the RX bars, but they you could like bend them. Yeah, in they're half, very like bendy like and stuff. Molasses and stuff that they yeah. use, which I'm okay with that. But sometimes when they get too cold, they say. become like a brick, and I feel like they're breaking. Or if you leave them like in the car on a hot day, they're like very like melty. Smells cookie-ish. Doable. 
I mean, you're going to trade off flavor for good nutrients, and I think it's not bad. I could eat it. I could eat an entire bar mm -hmm. off the purpose of it's fueling me, but it doesn't give me a oh my gosh, this is wonderful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mentality. Mm -hmm. It definitely has more flavor than that one. Way. Yeah, it's like having ice cream. There's no like flavor. protein powder in it, so it's all like, um, actually just kidding, there is protein powder. <laughs> I was, the second ingredient is organic protein blend, so it's brown rice protein and pea protein. Oh, but protein, I think the ingredients are, look like they're more like actual food from that compared to that one, so. Uh, let's see, the other things that they have on here, the IQ bar was non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, complete protein, OU-D kosher, which I don't even know what that is. Um, macro bar, it's, uh, it's got 10 grams of protein and USDA organic. I believe that one's low FODMAP too, so if you got some stomach problems, that one's probably good. The Go Macro bar. All right, so this is the Lenny and Larry's complete cookie bar. Um, let me see. Calories, it's 170, so again, a little bit less dense calorie-wise than the macro bar. Um, like Again, 12 grams of protein, so kind of moderate in protein, not super high in carbs compared to that one, but again, it's lower calories. So um, first ingredient is a protein blend, so we'll see if it tastes like protein Ooh, powder. Wait, now we're getting somewhere. Like, <laughs> is it pea protein? Um, Brown rice protein, pea protein. <laughs> okay. I've, oh, God. I'm going to. I like how you try to use the plastic. How I try. <laughs> like to cut this stuff. I mean, <laughs> never use utensils with a bar, but it's smart. Break apart. It's definitely more crumbly, which I like. Doesn't have any scent. Lots of nuts. I don't think it's that Entirely flavorful. Entirely flavorless. Yeah. It must have went through the flavor vacuum. Mm hmm Because texture is good, mm -hmm. and flavor is so bland that it's not bad, but because they throw the nuts in there, I think, it gives it a little bit of a crunch. Yeah. Which I'll take it over the IQ bar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say not a whole lot of flavor. I think it's still better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still better than the IQ bar. Because you get some pieces of chocolate in there. So, like, if you get a piece with, like, a chocolate chip, go. it's, like, not that bad. Yeah. Not bad. Like, it's not bad. I would Like, if you're really in a crunch and this is, like, the only thing available, I might grab one. This, yeah. This one slightly grows on me. Yeah. I feel like I could eat more of them and then it wouldn't be bad. I feel like if you like a drier break-apart bar, mm -hmm. this Lenny's and Larry's is good. If you like a more like a molasses based bar, that's yeah, that's I don't want to call a it a little more like chewy, like, it's like more yeah, chewy because yeah, um, I would go with that. But flavor yeah. wise, I mean, maybe the macro has a little bit edge, but I would say based off consistency, would probably be your you know what it is, but yeah, I mean, not 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 bad. I, I won't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> all right this last one is the monk pack um keto nut and seed bar so it's not really that keto because there's only nine grams of fat and there's more carbs than fat so not really a keto bar wouldn't really call it that um but has a lot of nuts and seeds so the first ingredient is nuts and seeds so let's see how what this are one is. Calories? um 140 so this one's the actually lowest? lower yeah this one's the lowest calorie one um but it's lower in fat than like really any of the. So this this other one ones. looks the best. This one looks me. good. This, this one, one has looks like the best. looks like it has some pretzels in it and like some um, uh, sunflower seeds. Yeah, like this one actually. This one looks like it's like actual this. food. Like this one looks real. This looks like real chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, hands down mm -hmm. because it's pretty much just chocolate and seeds mm -hmm. and. Uh, Hands down. No question asked. Not really a protein bar. So there's only five grams None of protein. I screwed that Yeah, up. but this is a good one, like, if you need just, like, a kind of, like, just a pick-me-up or you're, like, coming from work to go do a workout and you need something that you can digest pretty quickly, like, this doesn't have, like, a whole lot of fat, which more carbs, not a whole lot, but it'll be something light. 
Yeah, it was actually good. I actually like this one. This one, yeah. I'd buy this one again, actually. I mm -hmm. actually would go to the store and buy this. Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed Plant-Based, which is usually not my go-to, whatever. I'm not a plant-based person. Did they put any protein in it? Yeah, is there any poop protein in it. Did they put any pea protein in it? Or is it mostly like nuts and seeds? Because there's not a whole lot of protein. Oh, dude, it's, it's, it's got... Or are they protein crisps? It's right where you ripped it off. Oh. My bad. Let me play... Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's soy protein isolate. Mm-hmm. And pea protein. Followed up by xanthan gum. And we all know how good xanthan gum is yeah. for our body. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. Mm-hmm. But, but it does taste, taste good. good. It does taste good. That's the best tasting one. Like, yeah. I would probably say, like, that and the macro bar, that one's tastier, though. You need to put something in your system. Mm hmm. Calories. Just need, like, a little snack. That's probably a good one to, to go for. I would take the monk bar first, then the macro. These, for me, these are kind of like borderline, depending mm -hmm. on my day. Mm hmm. And then I'd go IQ bar. So yeah. highest, these are kind of right around there. That's my that's mm -hmm. my opinion on I'd that. Probably, I'd probably go, go, go here. That. Yeah, I'd probably go here. But That's probably realistically because yeah. I do buy Go Macro bars. Mm -hmm. And I mostly buy them for sustaining my... Yeah. Just, yeah I, I say don't like, buy them because I love them. I yeah. buy them because they're a good thing just to quickly grab. Yeah, like I, I would say like macro-wise. Like yeah, like yeah macro-wise, the macro bar, I feel like, is better. But the Lenny and Larry's bar, I feel like, not a bad choice either. So... It's kind of our take on these ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. We're going to do a bunch of this stuff. So if you guys got ideas, just let us know. Yeah. But um, there's your, your – and technically we bought these all at the uh, – I bought these at the Big Y. Oh. Um, I said gas – yeah. Not you really know, a gas we, station. We were, we're – yeah. That's, that's going to be an episode. <laughs> I screw up. But uh, bought these at Big Y. We're in that mm -hmm. natural health section right up there in Marble. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's good to know the things that I will never buy, the companies that I'll never buy, and which ones we should kind of stop you. Hope that helps. We'll see you guys next week.